The UX100 by Thermaltake offers straightforward cooling for both AMD as well as Intel to cool your CPU up to 65 watts TDP. The ARGB options as well included with the cooler and the nine blade fan design give you a nice RGB illumination that can be synchronized with your motherboard and be controlled through the motherboard's software. Of course, you're gonna have some thermal paste and some instructions to break down not just the parts and the step-by-step -step on how to install, but it'll also give you some help too with connecting up your RGB. So let's go ahead and get started with installing it on an AMD platform. Installation of your UX100 cooler is fairly straightforward with an AMD platform. I have an X570 here for an example with a 5600X CPU that has a 65 watt TDP rating. Of course, this is gonna be the maximum TDP rating for this particular cooler, so always check your compatibility before buying, as Thermaltake does offer a variety of coolers at a variety of different wattages to give you the best cooling performance. Now, this nine blade ARGB cooler will be able to be plugged into the motherboard using the native mounting built into the cooler itself for AMD. So no need to remove the stock mounting options here. We're gonna be securing directly to that. So that'll save you a little bit of time. And then with the CPU in place, we are gonna to have to put our thermal compound between both the cooler and the CPU and definitely make sure that we remove the protective film on the cooler before installation. With the thermal compound, you can definitely use whatever you would like, but we do include this here in the kit. And there's a nice little pre-tear area here that will allow you to be able to apply the compound. And I recommend like an X type of pattern to get a nice coverage across the board for the CPU once the cooler has mounted. So you'll apply your compound onto the CPU using an X pattern or a nice little bead in the middle, whatever you prefer. And then with the cooler itself, there is gonna be a special technique that I hope will definitely help you out. But again, make sure you remove the protective film before doing the installation and always make sure that we apply thermal compound between the CPU and the cooler itself. Now back on the cooler, you're gonna have two mounting clips, one located on this side and one located on this side with a little push down tab. For this type of motherboard configuration, with the way the design is, I'm gonna want my push tab on this side, so I got enough room to make it even easier to install versus having to try to get my finger over here on this side. Now, another thing to mention too is the UX100 is a low profile cooler, so it does require some clearances with memory up to 33.8 millimeters or about 1.3 inches in height. So do watch some of those taller RGB type of memory when looking to purchase a cooler like this with its low profile design. Now with the mounting to make it, I would say probably the best way to explain is once we secure the back as we will be doing here in a moment, you will have this area over here with the tab. Now with this particular tab and this lever, the motion that makes it easy for me is you wanna pull out, you wanna push down, and then you wanna hook it in. So it's kind of like an out, down, and in type of motion to be able to secure the cooler. And again, as I said, applying our compound, removing our sticker, and then taking our cooler, we're gonna go ahead and secure just the one clip first by setting the cooler flat down. I'm gonna use my finger here to grab the one side so that I can get it hooked onto the little two pin prong on the one side like so. So now it's hooked and it's basically just secured on the one side and I have my finger over here on the tab on the other side. Now, however it works best for you and so that I can kind of show you at home to make it as easy as possible. I'm gonna do the same thing like I was saying. I'm gonna grab the tab like so with my thumb and my index. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna hook it in. And that's all it's gonna be. That's gonna make it straightforward to do the install. I really hope something like that makes it even easier for you with this particular video. And then of course, don't forget, you have a three pin connection here to plug in for your fan power that will then be controlled by the motherboard. And of course, for that glorious RGB, you have a two pin wire connection that will plug into a five volt ARGB header that your motherboard optionally can support. So if it does have that, you can connect this up and all the RGB with this cool nine blade fan design will then be controlled by the motherboard software and you can match everything up to your favorite color. Well, I hope this helps you out here for the UX100 for installing on an AMD platform. And thank you so much for watching.